RPG! Deathmatch on Carbon. I go 25 and 5 using the ACR 6.8 suppressor with the Akimbo Scorpions, rocking the support strike package with UAV, advanced UAV, and the Recon Juggernaut. But with that all out of the way, what is up, guys? I know I've been gone for a mad fucking minute. I've been busy trying to get my shit together and trying to get a job, but people have no hearts and they won't hire me. They won't even give me a same day fucking interview, man. It's it's fucked, but enough complaining. Let's get into the gameplay. Uh, as you may notice, I'm kind of camping the blue barrels here to the far left by Big Garage. I guess you could call it out blue tarps too, but I like to call it blue barrels. And I think it's one of the best uh, spots to camp and try and build up your kill streaks without taking too many deaths. Uh, because, you know, this map's really small, therefore the spawns can be really, really quickly switched uh, regardless of what game type you're playing, unless you're playing Search and Destroy, which there are no respawns. But, uh, yeah, this is probably one of the better spots to hold down if you're spawning on the side of the map that I did, uh, because there's lots of great sight lines, the barrels provide pretty good cover, and the only thing you gotta worry about is people playing you know, all the way around you, and I fail epically with my knife. I failed a lot with a knife in this game. I, I was just too hyped up on Red Bull or something, I don't even know. But, uh, yeah, I've been gone for a while, guys. Like I said, it feels good to be back making videos so I can finally just chill out, you know. I don't have that much time to chill out and do all this kind of good stuff when I'm uh, doing my job day in and day out. Because by the time I get home, I just want to play the game. I don't feel like talking about stuff. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to, uh, try to... How, I, how should I say this? Schedule and conduct my channel a bit better. So, with that being said, I mean, I'm gonna upload every Sunday because it's most convenient for me. Like, I'm hardly ever doing fuck all on Sunday. So, it's perfect for me to do commentaries. I have no idea what else I can do besides commentary. As I'm, th I'm trying to brainstorm some series of what I could do and all that, but it's all been done, and I don't know. We'll see what I come up with. But anyways, I'll be uploading every Sunday, new commentary, so be sure to check that shit out every Sunday. And also, next weekend, or this weekend coming up possibly, I will have my first montage coming out. The montage will be called Cheat You How It's Done, Episode 1. And yeah, it should be pretty sick. I got it got it edited for free by a friggin', uh, what's his name? Um, Big Al of Gaming, formerly Toxic Bliss 1. So check him out, he's in my sub box. And what else? What else did I want to talk about in this commentary? Oh, you may notice that I kind of cut it out there because somebody raged with the game. Yeah, they're like that. Fucking faggots. Not that I have anything against homosexuals, but people that rage quit the game are gay. That's all I gotta say. And that rhymed. Oh, I didn't even know it. Uh, what else is there to talk about? Oh yeah, the Super Bowl. I don't know how many of you guys watched it. I'm assuming a lot of you guys. And uh, it was a crazy fucking game. It was a crazy game. I watched the entire thing from about five minutes into the first quarter. And just through and through, it was a great game. I mean, I, I'm i kind of pissed off because I had a few bets going for uh, the Patriots. And the Giants ended up, ended up pulling it out in the end. I can't hate on them. It was a good fucking game. But I lost like 40 bucks in the whole ordeal. So... Fucking Tom Brady, man. You gotta throw that pigskin better. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> um, I think there's a few passes at the end of the game that he could have made that could have just completely changed the outcome of that game. But whatever. It was a great game. Can't hate on it. But uh, in the comments below, let me know what you guys think. Do you think Tom Brady has it in him to win one more ring? Let me know. Um, shit. As you can see, I'm in my support juggernaut, and it's just, I'm, I'm going to say it right now, people are going to think I'm crazy, but I think it is uh, better than the assault juggernaut, and my reasoning for that is, I just like how the riot shield provides just far superior cover, opposed to no cover with the assault juggernaut, and I like how if you don't have a portable radar, or at least I think, that, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. If you don't have portable radar on your class, 
when you rock the support juggernaut or the recon juggernaut, whatever you want to call it, you get uh, you automatically get a, a portable radar attached to you, anyways, and it it just follows you around wherever you move on the mini map, marks targets for your uh, teammates, and yeah, it's just beast as shit. Enough said. But uh, what else can I talk about? You know, guys, I've been on a shitty fucking sleep schedule. I've been tired of shit lately. I've been playing way, 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 way too much Call of Duty, and I do not say that lightly. Like, I've been playing the fuck out of ridiculous amounts. And I'm finally 10th prestige now. I'm not maxed out 10th, but I'm, I finally got to 10th uh, last night, or early, <laughs> early this morning, we should say. And, yeah. I don't even know what to say about the game. The game... The game's good, you know. I'm not, I'm not going to say it's the best Call of Duty ever made. I'm still going to say Call of Duty 4 is the best, most balanced. And, well, it's not even the most balanced, but it's the, I prefer it over pretty much every Call of Duty after I'm done playing to max prestige on whichever Call of Duty. I mean, I like every Call of Duty for its own reasons, but overall, Call of Duty 4, man, that's what Call of Duty, every Call of Duty aspires to be because that game was just the shit when it came out. It fucking blew the fuck up. Enough said. But, uh, yeah, there's only a few things I have a uh, problem with in the game. Um, first off is the fucking boosters. You're just terrible. You know who you are, boosting for mobs and shit and free for all. Like, I used to like free for all. Now I, I can't even stand it anymore. It's fucking trashy. Pretty much every lobby I'm in, there's just somebody fucking camping and doing tactic inserts and all that crap. So, it's pretty stupid, but... Uh, other than that, what else is wrong with the game? Oh yeah, the skill skill Kimbo FMG nines or Akiambo from G nines, whatever the fuck you want to call them, the fucking piece of shit guns. Those guns are the troll guns of life. Or actually, no, excuse me, the striker is the troll gun of life. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I think in my next commentary I'm gonna go in depth of uh, pros and cons of Modern Warfare 3, but. The gameplay is coming near an end. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you guys don't hate me for not posting forever. I'll be posting every Sunday, like I said, from now on. Anyways, guys, I'm out. I love you all. Mwah! RPG!